As the competitors of the USAC Amsoil Sprint Car National Championship prepare themselves for the start of the 2016 season in the upcoming Winter Dirt Games in Ocala, Florida, one shall not forget the beginnings of the series and its connection to the state of Florida. For it was 60 years ago that the USAC Sprint Car Series made its on-track debut in the Sunshine State. 1956 was a year of transition for automobile racing in the United States. The American Automobile Association was the foremost sanctioning body of auto racing in the U.S., specifically regarding championship car, sprint car, and midget racing. Due to the tragedy that occurred during the 24 hours of Le Mans in June of 1955, the AAA decided to seize their involvement in auto racing, thus leaving open-wheel racing in the U.S. in a precarious position heading into the future. In 1956, under the direction of Indianapolis Motor Speedway owner Tony Holman, the United States Auto Club was created, taking over from where the AAA had left off. The first three USAC Sprint Car events were scheduled on consecutive weekends in February of 1956 in Florida. The first of these three races, at Southland Speedway in West Palm Beach, was won by previous year's Indianapolis 500 winner Bob Swikert. Chuck Wyant and Pat O'Connor were the winners of the next two rounds in Jacksonville and Miami, respectively. But on the strength of three straight top three finishes, it was Don Branson who had accumulated enough points to earn the title of USAC Florida Winter Sprint Car Champion. Throughout the years, USAC has sanctioned 76 races in Florida, including numerous notable events such as the 1957 Tangerine Tournament for Midgets. Andy Linden scored four wins in the 11 race miniseries to take the title in his Lee Elkins owned number 73. USAC championship cars made their first visit to Florida in April of 1959 to the world's newest super speedway facility, Daytona International Speedway. Jim Rathman took the win in his Simonized sponsored Watson Offy during the Daytona 100 and followed that up with another victory later in the day on the high banks in a 20-lap USAC FIA Formula Libre race. However, in what would be the last event run by USAC at Daytona, the weekend was marred by the death of driver George Amick on the final circuit of the 40-lap event. The half mile at Tampa's Florida State Fairgrounds played host to the USAC Silver Crown Series on two occasions. George Snyder won the first, a 50-lapper in February of 1985. Two years later, Larry Rice scored one of his five career Silver Crown wins in a 100-lap event. In 1996, USAC was the sanctioning body of the Formula 2000 series. The first event of the season was held at the newly built Walt Disney World Speedway in Orlando. The race was won by current IndyCar Series team owner Sam Schmidt. One day later, USAC officiated the first event held by the Indy Racing League, won by eventual series co-champion Buzz Calkins. In 2006, Aaron Pierce recorded the fastest single lap in the history of the Silver Crown Series during a qualification run at Homestead Miami Speedway with an average one lap speed of 175.012 miles per hour. In 2010, a new tradition began with the introduction of the Winter Dirt Game Series for the USAC National Sprint Cars. Damian Gardner, who owns more victories in USAC competition than any other driver in Florida, with five, collected the first victory of the series at East Bay Raceway Park in Gibsonton. In fact, Gardner won five of the first six events in the history of Winter Dirt Games between the years of 2010 and 2012. Now in its seventh edition, Winter Dirt Games has quickly become a staple of the early season racing scene, annually playing host to drivers, teams, and fans alike who are eager to escape the winter doldrums and enter the playgrounds of horsepower. Six decades after that first USAC Sprint Car event in Florida, today's racing heroes Baloo, Darlin, Stockin, Bacon, and Clawson are among those who are ready to write the next chapter in USAC Sprint Car history.